y'all welcome back to my channel today i am super excited because i have a super simple keto recipe that i am sharing with y'all this recipe only consists of four ingredients so it's super cheap super quick to throw together and super tasty so let's go ahead and hop right in the four ingredients that you're going to need are bell peppers I got three yellow ones just because the yellow ones looked the prettiest at the grocery store today. Up next, you're going to need a pound of sausage. I went with the hot because it just gives it a little bit more flavor. Up next, you're going to need a block of cream cheese. And lastly, you're going to need a can of Rotel. I got the kind with the chilies in it because I like it. All right, so those are the four ingredients you need. And first things first, we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 degrees. I've already got mine started heating up back here just because my oven takes forever and a day to heat up. One thing I've learned about cooking stuffed peppers is that if you stuff them while they're raw and stick them in the oven, they usually won't cook all the way through. So we're gonna clean these, cut them in half, pull out all the seeds and we're gonna stick the peppers in the oven to roast a little while before we stuff them with our filling. I just washed my bell peppers. What we're going to do is cut them in half and remove the stems and the seeds inside. I cut the bell peppers in half, cleaned them out of their seeds so they are ready to go in the oven. What I'm going to do is let these cook down in the oven until they're tender. One thing I really hate when I make stuffed peppers is if the peppers don't get cooked all the way through. I feel like it kind of ruins the taste of it if you're still biting into like a crunchy bell pepper. I like them to be soft and tender, which is why we're gonna cook them before we stuff them. So my oven just preheated to 350 degrees and we are going to stick these in and cook them. So that'll probably be 20 to 30 minutes. So let's stick these in the oven to start cooking and then we'll get started on the filling. The first thing I'm going to do for the filling is brown our sausage. So I have a frying pan heating up right here. Let's get to browning the sausage. <laughs> Look right here. You can see a little bow, always making sure that I'm cooking my recipes correctly. But I just finished browning this sausage. So what I'm going to do is turn my stove to low so that there's still a little bit of heat but not continuing to cook the sausage too much. I have a softened block of cream cheese, an eight ounce block, that I'm going to add directly into the pan with the sausage. Since mine is super soft, I didn't bother cutting it up. I'm just gonna cut it up here in the pan. And while the pan's still hot, I am going to work on letting this cream cheese soften up so that it will mix into the sausage. And now all I'm going to do is just work the cream cheese into the sausage so it mixes up nicely and everything's all coated together. And the last step of making this filling for the bell peppers, I have my can of Rotel and without draining it, I'm just going to add it all in here. So now just stirring this all together, making sure it's nice and mixed up. So when the peppers are done here in just a minute, this will be ready to be stuffed into the peppers. Making this filling was super easy. Literally three ingredients and we have just 30 more seconds until the peppers are ready to be stuffed. So it all timed out perfectly. So let's get to stuffing. Quality control is making sure that I do everything correctly. Always under my feet waiting to get stepped on. Ooh, peppers are ready. After 25 minutes of cooking, I pulled out my peppers and they're super tender, so they won't have that crunchiness that I hate when I cook stuffed bell peppers. So now I am just going to scoop out little heaps of my filling and start placing it into these peppers. Ooh, these are going to be so good. I'm so terrible at stuffing this. I'm probably gonna get it everywhere, but it's fine, totally fine. Peppers are stuffed. I stuffed them to the max so that I'd use up all of the filling. 
and I just tasted the filling the last little bite and oh my golly it is so good these are gonna turn out bomb all right back in the oven these go for about five minutes and they'll be ready to eat and here we go our stuffed peppers are ready and these look and smell absolutely phenomenal but they are super hot right now so we're gonna let them cool off for just a little bit then we'll give them a taste i've let the pepper cool for a couple minutes so i don't burn my mouth but let's give it a taste test i'm dying to dig in cheers mm, all over my face oh my good golly gosh this is absolutely incredible it's got so much flavor in it Mm-hmm. All it took was four ingredients to make this absolutely delicious stuffed pepper. I must say, cooking those peppers beforehand makes a world of difference. That is so good. The pepper is tender. That filling is just, mwah. oh, it's so good. You have got to give this stuffed pepper recipe a try. It is super beginner friendly. Just about anyone could probably cook this without messing it up. So I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and I will be back again real soon with another video. Bye guys! Mwah.